Is shares of Starbucks a lot to pay for, or is it a grande investment for those looking for a perfect dividend growth stocks? In this video, uh, we're going to be taking a look at that. We're going to be analyzing the Starbucks shares, uh, with ticker symbol SBUX, looking into uh, its fundamentals, as well as discuss the analyst estimates for the price target for Starbucks in uh, the year to come. Now, let's get into it. Shares of Starbucks, which is a consumer discretionary business, is traded with ticker symbol SBUX, and it was last traded at the price of about $85. It currently has a dividend yield of 2.48%, which as you can notice, it's one of the highest levels that it has had in terms of its dividend yield over the past five years. Its dividend has a safety score of 67, marking it a safe dividend pair. What's more, most recently uh, on September 28th, Starbucks increased its dividend amount and it increased it by 8.2%, which uh, suggests a fast dividend growth. Starbucks currently has a market capitalization of $99.3 billion, making it a large cap size business. From a volatility perspective, uh, shares of Starbucks have a beta score of 1.12, suggesting a slightly higher volatility than the overall uh, stock market. If you look at the current payout ratio for Starbucks uh, it's, and its dividends, uh, we are looking at a payout ratio of 62% and a forward payout ratio of 68%, which uh, appears to be high for uh, restaurants. And that being said, it's still within that healthy range of uh, 30 to about 65%, very much close to buy to it. Although it sounds a little bit higher, it's worthwhile mentioning that Starbucks has a very long uh, history of dividend payments. In fact, it's uh, started um, paying its dividend uh, uninterrupted since 11 years ago. And in all of those years, they've continuously increased their dividend year after year, as you notice. On top of that, if you look at their dividend growth history, over the past five years, they've increased their dividend on average by 17% per year, which is a very fast dividend growth. Moreover, over the last 10 years, they've increased it by 21% annualized, which is again suggests a very fast dividend growth. And these are the type of businesses that not only are perfect for dividend uh, investors, given their fast dividend growth and uh, long history of dividend payments. It's also uh, interesting because they are showing all these signs of fast, rapid dividend growth, as well as the stock itself um, and the business itself having the potential for being a wonderful growth business. So you're getting the best of both worlds from a lens of dividend and growth investing. Starbucks does pay its dividend quarterly. Currently, it's paid in the months of February, May, August, and November. It's worthwhile mentioning their, their total annual payout currently uh, it comes to about $2.12. Looking at the timeliness of the stock, given their current dividend yield of 2.48% is about 22% above their five-year average, uh, it does suggest that the stock appears to be undervalued. What's more, if you look at their forward price to earnings ratio of 27.4, it is uh, below their five-year average, uh, which is at 28 Although Starbucks's price to earnings ratio forward is higher than that of the consumer discretionary, it is very much comparable to its main competitors. And in fact, in a moment, we will show you how it's actually doing uh, somewhat better than some of its other competitors and similar type of peers in this industry. Looking at the past price range for Starbucks stock, in the past one year, the lowest that this stock has hit has been the price of $69.90. And the highest price has been the price of $116.97. Well, currently I do have shares of Starbucks in my watch list. And I would hope, of course, to pick up these shares at a lower price than $80, uh, and perhaps in the uh, mid 70s. It is worthwhile mentioning that if you are a long term investor, perhaps, you know, having the, uh, add these shares added to your portfolio, even at these price range, might not be actually uh, the, a terrible investment either, especially if you have a longer term horizon. And who knows, Starbucks price might not actually go as far low as around mid-70s, even though uh, I, I would hope that uh, very soon it, it hits uh, that levels. We're going to take a look at a number of additional financial uh, measures here to assess how this business is doing from a fundamental perspective. Earnings per share is one that it's always important to take a look at. Ideally, you'd like to, of course, invest in a business that is continuing to grow its business. And it, as part of that, uh, one aspect of it is for them to continue to increase their earnings. In this case, you notice 2020 was an odd year. We know all of us the reason behind, but if you kind of take that anomaly out of the picture, for the other years, for the most part, very nicely, you're seeing that nice uh, gradual increase of earnings per share. In fact, uh, the chart below shows the earnings per share growth 
you're seeing that nice growth on almost on all of the years. The only perhaps uh, kind of in indication that I bring to a notice is that next 12 months, it's believed to for Starbucks to have slightly less earnings per share, not by much, but only about 1% uh, decline. And that's a projection still. But uh, as for their total sales, they do make up for that though. If you look at it in terms of the total revenue, they are seeing that nice gradual increase. Again, the, if you take out the 2020 as an anomaly year. We are going to be taking a look as well in terms of their return on invested capital, uh, which divides a firm's profit by the money that both equity and debt holders have given the company uh, to gauge manufacturers' capital allocation skills. Here, uh, ideally, we like to see that 12% range for restaurants, and except for 2020, they have hit that. As for the return on equity, though, they are um, showing some negative double digit or even three three digit um, numbers here. A little bit of a red flag there, uh, but uh, when we look at things such as their operating margin or their free cash flow margin, um, they well, uh, you know, compensate for that. So all in all, that doesn't give us necessarily a huge red flag. We're going to be taking a look at some of the analyst predictions uh, next. Uh, this is based on analysts covering the stock on tip ranks. There are 25 analysts covering it uh, with all of them on average having a price target of $98.29 is the average of those analyst predictions. And if that holds true, that shows an upside of 14.7, uh, pretty much close to 15% upside for the stock. Even the uh, analysts with the lowest price target have the target of $87, and the ones with the highest have a price target of $136. This is the projection for the next 12 months. And next, if you look at analysts on Yahoo Finance, they have a price target of around $96.84. And we're going to then move on to Simply Wall Street. And here, we're going to take a look at a number of uh, pieces, such as the valuation for stock. As you notice, their price to earnings compared to their peers is actually doing quite well. And uh, let us show that in a moment. Their price to earnings ratio, as you notice, compared to a number of other uh, kind of peers, such as Yum Brands, Restaurant Brands International, uh, is definitely um, slightly higher than those. But compared to McDonald's and Chipotle, uh, they're definitely much better. Still within that, you know, uh, green territory comparing to their own uh, peer average of 31 and a half multiple ratio for the price to earnings. On top of that, we are going to be taking a look at the Starbucks's uh, fair valuation according to the calculations based on future cash flow and using a discounted uh, cash flow model. The fair valuation for the Starbucks price is $128.92, and that suggests the stock is undervalued by about 33. Percent. I'm curious to hear from you. Are you currently invested in the shares of Starbucks? Uh, are you considering to add it to your watch list or perhaps add it to your portfolio? We'd love to hear from you. So leave us a comment down below and share what you think about uh, shares of Starbucks as well as this video. I hope you found this video beneficial and gained something of value from it. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. That really means a lot to us and will be always appreciated for that. With that, thank you so much, everyone. And I hope to see you next time here on Momentum Finance Channel.